What's going on, guys? Roma the Roma here. Get my fat head out of the way. All right. Today, I'm going to go over how to make, how to print all your labels at once via Excel list with a 30 up label printer. So, brother printers, whatever printer you're using, I use brother. So, what you're going to do is the first thing is make sure your SKU settings are set up for custom SKUs. And the only thing that really matters for this is that the integer count is first, not last, not like that. First, oh my gosh. Oh my god. All right, there we go. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna put 001 for the first one, 002 for the second one, and so on and so forth, because when you're gonna print these through Seller Central and you want them to be in order alpha numerically, okay, this is a way to do it. So make sure integer count is first. Since we're tracking multiple sources, uh, you know, if I get books from Goodwill, Salvation Army, blah, 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 the supplier is always changing, so it's gonna jumble everything. So the, very, the, the most important thing, integer count goes first, okay? So uh, I just listed about 600 something books. So I'm gonna print them all via Seller Central, but in order to print them in order, the next step is to go to export, batch items, okay? Open this up. And before you open it up, you can go ahead Go ahead and click on preview shipment plans. Preview shipment plans. We're going to let that load. So as that's loading, create shipments and complete batch. Now what's happening recently to me on Excel list is it's showing those splits right now. But as soon as I click create shipments, Amazon's going to do some sneaky shit. Boom. Two are going to one warehouse. One are going to the other. So... The problem with that is in the case of 600, it's going to be 200 going to one warehouse, 400 are going to be going somewhere else. The problem with that is when you go to Seller Central, you can print them on 30F labels, but you only can print the 200 at once, and then you only can print the 400 at once. So we want the 600 printed at once because we stacked our books in order, right? So we want to be able to, as we you know, pick up one book, each label is for the exact book. So in order to do that, Export batch items. Export batch items. You're just going to copy this SKU column. Okay. I'm going to export right here. I don't know why it's saying count. Why is it saying? Probably because I screwed something up on Excel. List. This should say 001. It should look like this, as an example. Um, so you're going to open up Caleb Roth's free spreadsheet, and you're going to paste all the SKUs in this column. Why does it say 01? That's probably good. Make sure this says 1. Okay. So you're going you're to go to the shipping plan uh, tab. Sorry, this is, oh my gosh, there we go. So this, uh, the third tab over is a shipping plan tab. So in order to get this spreadsheet, you're going to go to thebookflipper.com forward slash track or tracking spreadsheet, either one. Scroll all the way to the bottom, free listing spreadsheet here. I like to save this as a Google Docs too, so I can access it anywhere in case my laptop blows up here, then you're going to paste all the batch items, jeez, my head is big, get out of the way, right here, I'm going to paste them there, make sure the quantity says one, in this case, I did it in Excel, get a file, so as, oh, and before you do that, and up. Uh, before you do that, you want to make sure that all this is entered, so Quick overview, plan name, whatever you want it to be, uh, address name, whatever you want that to be. Field one is the actual address. Or if you guys have restricted inventory, you can actually send it to this address. You can dispose your inventory here and I'll sell it for you. Just make sure your name is included somewhere on the package. As a side note, 
same as plug. I sell other resellers for some inventory. Uh, address city, address country code, so country, state, it's going to be that. Uh, and then make sure the district. I believe you put US for that. Um, I already put it once up here. So address, district, maybe something different. Just make sure all this is filled out. And then we're going to go to file, save as tab limited. Okay. Click save. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Are you sure you want to save it? You click yes. It asks you that. Are you really sure? Yeah. Okay. So then you're going to go to Star Central. Blow this up and get the hell out of the way. Okay, so you're going to go to inventory, manage FBA shipments. Come on. Manage FBA shipments, and you're going to click on upload file if this would ever load. Chrome sucks on Mac, y'all. Something I'm figuring out. This Wi Fi is faster than the Chrome. My, my laptop is like breathing right now. It's like, you can hear the air coming out of it. Chrome makes it work so much harder. So, I'm going to go to click, click on upload shipping plan. Oh my gosh. Okay. Upload shipping plan file right here. You're going to go straight to step two. See, I already know what to do. My laptop is just being slow. I'm jumping the gun here. Click on this. And then step two. Step two. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Step two, you're going to click on choose file. Find the file, upload it, click upload now, wait a while, boom. Next thing you're going to do, you have to find it. This would normally take like 10 seconds if your computer's going faster than this. You can also train a virtual assistant on how to do this. So then go to shipping plans. There it is, okay? That is strange. It's because I forgot to enter the quantity on this, so that's why it's zero. Make sure you enter the quantity of one. Okay. So, uh, then what you're going to do, click on work on shipping plan. Demonstrative purposes. Okay. So, all we care about is preparing the product. So, if you do have duplicates, you will have to enter the duplicates here. Unfortunately. No, this is what I this is what I screwed up. You won't have to enter the numbers here because. Sorry about this, y'all. When you export batch items, this is where I screwed up. I gotta go back and do this myself. See, isn't it good that I'm making this video? You guys don't make the mistakes I do. So, what you'll do is there's actually uh, a column that says quantity. So, you'll copy that one too. Okay. And then. You'll throw all the quantities here and it's going to match up exactly. So I have 658 SKUs, but I actually have like close to 700 books because I have lots of duplicates in this case. So whatever, it's screwing up with me. So next you're going to go to prepare products page. And uh, at the bottom of the page, it's going to say uh, print labels. Gonna give you the option for Amazon to print them or you to print them. Click Merchant Prints, and then you're gonna. Um, from there, you'll be able to print labels on 30 up sheets, and they will be in exact order because of the way you make the speed. So that is how 
you print 30F labels VXLR list. Peace out, guys.